In this tutorial, we're going to practice drawing different simple shapes like lines, circles, rectangles, and using some modify commands like move and copy and array. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open your set inch template file. So you can see I already have the set inch template file open. So go ahead and open that. And we're going to add a little bit of information to that template file first before we start drawing. And what we're going to add to it is some text information. So when we create text, we want the text to look fairly nice. And I'm going to just do a simple text right now to show you what the default text looks like in AutoCAD. So not so pretty, right? So we want to add to our template file a text font that is uh, better than that. Now the nice thing about the default uh, text style that AutoCAD has is that it's very low as far as memory needs but it doesn't look very nice. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is type the command style. And this will control what kind of text we have. And you can see the default is just TXT. And we're going to change that to Arial. So I'm going to type an A, so it gets me to the A's, and uh, select Arial. And we want the default height to be 0.12. So we're in an inch drawing and printed out the standard is that all your text should be 1 eighth of an inch high. So 0.12 is 1 eighth or close to 1 eighth of an inch high. And everything else is fairly good and the one thing we want to check is annotative. Now you don't know what that is yet but later on in tutorials upcoming, you'll learn what that is. But go ahead and check that box for now. And we're going to apply and close. All right, so now when we type, it's gonna come up with this annotation scale box. Don't worry about that. Like I said, we're gonna learn about that later on. Just go okay. And if we type something, looks much nicer, right? All right, so we've added nice text to our template file, so let's save it. All right, so added features to the template file. Now we want to save it as the tutorial that we're going to complete in this video, and we're gonna name it Wagon Tutorial. All right, so make sure that you choose the drawing type and we're gonna name it Wagon Tutorial and save. So now we're ready to start drawing. Now I have a previous version of the Wagon Tutorial up just so that you can see the finished product of what we're trying to draw. And you can see all these shapes are very simple you know, circles, lines, an octagon. Uh, this grass was made with an array. Uh, so we're gonna tackle all of those in this tutorial. All right, the first thing I want you to do is to activate a grid that is 0.5 inches by 0.5 inches. And there we go. And then we're gonna zoom all, make sure we're seeing all of our paper space and we're going to enter our world coordinate system. So view and then world. And then next we want to make sure that our object snap and our dynamic input down in the status bar are off. So those two are off for me. 
So make sure they're off for you. And then we're ready to draw. So let's start by drawing the ground. And the ground was two arcs hooked together. So we'll get back into the Home tab and draw arcs. Now if you click on the arc, you'll see that there are just many ways to draw an arc. What we're going to do is we're going to first draw an arc using the three-point method, and then we're going to draw an arc using the start and radius method. So that is, where is that start and radius? Right there. So whatever your needs are, there's probably an arc that's going to fit it. So first three-point arc. And you'll notice that down here, it's going to ask you for something. So if you're ever confused about what you need to enter, uh, read down in the command prompt here. So start, it wants a start point. So we're going to enter 0, 1. Now it wants the second point, 4, 2. And it wants a third point, 8, 1.5. All right, so there's our first arc. And now we're going to do a start end radius. All right, so we know where this endpoint is, right? It was at 8, 1.5. But let's say that we don't know where that endpoint is. Uh, we can specify the start of our next arc using an object snap. So we can use the object snap end, which is let me snap to the end of something. And to do that, you would just type end. Right? So I'm saying I want to look for the end of something. Oh, there it is. I'm going to snap to that. And then the next thing we want to enter we want to enter the end point, so we're going to go to 11, 2. And now we want to enter the radius. And that will be 3. So there's our ground. All right, notice how the two arcs are separate. Well, we want to add grass to this as an array. And to do that, we need these two arcs to be together. So we're going to use the command join. And to do that, we're going to type a J. Now, a lot of these commands can be abbreviated. Like, you don't have to type the whole command. And when we type J, it knows that we want to join two things together. Of course, you can type the whole command. So it's going to ask, OK, what are the objects you want to join? I want to join this one and this one. And hit Enter. Now it's one object. All right, so now let's get to drawing the grass. So we're going to draw one blade of grass first. And we're going to use a line for that. So let's uh, click on the line. And again, we want uh, to start our first blade of grass over here on this endpoint of the ground. So we're going to type end. And we're going to snap to that end. So now we have a line coming from that end. And we're going to have that line go relative 0.2 units at an angle of 145 degrees. So you can see where that went. And we'll just hit Enter to exit the line. And we're going to draw another blade of grass. And again, we're going to come off the same end of that ground. So end. And now we're going to go straight up with it. Same length, so relative 0.2, angle 90. All right, so those are two blades of grass that we're going to array along this whole ground. 
All right, so let's go up to the array right here. And you'll notice that there's three different types of arrays that we can use, rectangular, path, and polar. Well, we want to array along a path. So we're going to select that, and it's going to ask us to select the objects we want to array. Well, we want to array these two blades of grass. So once we're done selecting the objects, we'll hit Enter, and then it's going to ask us to select a path. So we'll select this path, and boom. So we have this, and maybe it's not exactly what you want, right? It's guessing what you want. Well, we're going to adjust what's going on here. So we want to specify the distance between the objects. Right now it has it as a quarter of an inch, but we want that to be 0.1. So you see how you can change that? All right, so our grass looks very good. So we can just exit our command. And we have our ground and grass. So in the next part of the tutorial, we'll add our wagon and go on from there.